you kind of touched on something that is so important when making art or making music is this rapport, right, you have with your collaborators. And you've collaborated on the uh, rapper side, on the MC side with, yeah. like, you know, 21 Savage, I think Playboy Cardi, you got to record um, with. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Like, who, when you think back with rappers you've collaborated with, who do you have the best rapport with? Or is it is it typically, like, a file transfer kind of thing? Honestly, <clears throat> unfortunately, the most of the, the collabs that I've done were... Like, it has been, like, a remote yeah. collaboration. But I would say, I'm trying to think, have I actually collaborated with a rapper in the studio? I it's don't so know. rare, though. It's, it's not just you. It's, it's, like, it's like, you think it's never so? happened. Oh, I don't. It's really you think, rare. You think it's rare. Maybe Drake calls you up, like, you fly right, to Toronto. Right, exactly. But, like, you know what I mean? This one time, though, I will tell you, the first ever studio session that I've had was Pharrell Williams, which is insane. And, like, I'm used to, you know, just making music at home in my bedroom, not really, you know, with anybody else. And then I was in L.A. This was, like, the first time, this was the first trip that I made in L.A., and then I did that Beats 1 interview with Pharrell, and then he was like, yo, you want to go to the studio? Like, you want to come over to the studio? I'm like, yeah, sure. And then... Um, Imagine if you said no. I, I, mean, I know, right? I got lunch. It been such like, a sick crazy. power play. Um, so I woke up at, like, 8 a.m., got to the studio at 9. Pharrell is already in the studio, already making a beat. And... Um, I was terrified because I have never had to write a song in front of anybody or, like, in, in the same room as anybody else. What so does it feel like, like, though? Like, like for us, that will never be in that room. Is it just crippling anxiety? Is it just um, are the walls closing in? Like, it's, um, it's basically, like, when you're – I don't know if you can relate to this, but back then when I used to do homework, you know, like, when you do homework with your f- parents, like, teaching you how to do it, and then they ask you a question, and then you, like, they just explain it to you, like, in a really, like, they just did a very long explanation, and then you're like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then they ask you, and then they finally ask you the question, and then you actually did not understand the whole thing at all. Yeah. That's what it feels like the whole time. <laughs> at least for me at the time, that's what it felt like. And I, but the thing is, it was crazy because I felt like because it was Pharrell, and I knew that this is, like, a once-in-a-lifetime experience, I, I'm like, I I have to do this. If I don't do this, I will we'll probably die or something. And, like, so that was actually, like, the fastest I ever wrote a song. I actually ended up writing, like, a song with him that day. And he, he like, made me a beat. And then, yeah, it was crazy. 